Hi, today I will be speaking about stoichiometry. If you watched my first video, you will understand how to convert between moles, grams, and particles. In this video, we're going to do the same thing, but more complex. First of all, what is stoichiometry? Well, stoichiometry deals with calculations of quantitative relationships of the reactants and products in a balanced chemical reaction. Notice key word, balanced chemical reaction. If your chemical reaction is not balanced, you will not be able to solve a stoichiometric problem. So make sure that everything is balanced. <clears throat> My first example is going to deal with a real life situation involving a tricycle. Let's say your tricycle has a frame, your tricycle has a seat, your tricycle has three wheels, your tricycle has one handle, and your tricycle has two pedals. Okay? So again, this is your frame, seat, wheels, handlebars, and your two pedals. When you're going to write this as, a, as an equation, you would write it like this. F S W 3 H P 2. Okay? Notice that everything is balanced in our tricycle example. We have one frame here, one frame here. We have one seat, one seat. Three wheels, three wheels. We have one handlebar, so we have one handlebar, and we have two pedals and two pedals. So our, rea our reactants are balanced with our products. So this is the formula that we're going to end up using to solve this problem. <clears throat> Suppose... Um, you own a company of tricycles and you need to make 640 tricycles. If you need to make 640 tricycles, how many uh, wheels do you need to purchase? So we're going to go from 640 tricycles to a certain number of wheels. What you're going to do, like in my first video, you're going to write this number down. You're going to write it here, 640. And make sure you write the tricycle equation, which I wrote. It is F S W 3 H P 2. This is our tricycle equation. You're going to buy 640 tricycles. The next step is to write the multiplication sign and your division line. Now, this needs to cancel out. <clears throat> so what you're going to do is, you're going to write this here in the bottom. F S W 3 H P with a 2. Now, this is one tricycle. The tricycle is going to cancel out. And we want wheels. So how many wheels are in one tricycle? We know that there are three wheels or 3W and it comes from right there three wheels so now we have wheels by itself the next step is to multiply you're gonna get 640 multiply times multiply times 3 and then divide by 1 and you get 1920 wheels so if you're going to make 640 tricycles, then you need to buy 1,200, uh, 1,920 wheels. So this is a real life, everyday scenario that companies need to know in order to know how much of an item to buy. Okay, the next problem that I'm going to give you is an actual uh, chemistry problem. So we have, we have uh, an oxygen molecule, we have two hydrogen molecules, 
and this yields to two uh, molecules of water. Okay. The question is, how many moles of water result from the complete reaction of 24.6 moles of oxygen? So, right now I have one mole of oxygen, but if I had 24.6 moles of oxygen, how many moles of water, so we're going to go to number of moles of water, can we make? Okay, the first step before you even begin to solve this equation <clears throat> is notice if it's balanced. That's the first step based on our definition. So here we have two oxygens, okay? So we go over here and we have two oxygens because of that two in the front. This two is telling you that you have two oxygens. So we, this is checked, this is good. Then we come over here. It says that we have four hydrogens. So we come over here and notice it's two times two. So four hydrogens. So that's balanced. Everything is balanced. So now we need to solve it. So what I'm going to do is they give us 24 0.6 moles of oxygen, okay? And we want to know how many moles of water are we going to need. Now, in this problem, you're going to assume that you have enough hydrogen. So forget about the hydrogen, just pay attention to the oxygen and to the water. This is what they give you. So you write this down, you write the multiplication sign, the division line, and you're going to write moles of oxygen in the bottom. How many? Only one. So one mole of oxygen. And how much? How much is one mole of oxygen? And we need water. So I'm going to put water in the top. One mole of oxygen is exactly two moles of water. So I'm going to write two moles of water. Our oxygen cancels out. And then what you do is simply multiply 24.6 times 2 moles of water. And our answer is 49.2 moles of water. Also, notice that in my answer I have three significant figures. One, two, three. Three digits. I got those three digits from this number over here, whatever they give me. It has, this has three significant figures, therefore my answer also needs to have three significant figures.